Hey everybody, this is Brian from PNB Homestead. I want to do the update for the large grow tent, and right now I've got just the lower lights on to show you the progress for the seedlings we've got for this spring's gardens outdoors. And then I'm going to turn the lights on, and you can see what I've changed on the upper uh, top shelf here because I took out the uh, white Russian kale. It's outside right now, getting acclimated to the outdoors, and. Uh, gonna put in some spinach on the top row so I'll show you guys that let me grab the camera I got my safety goggles here for when I do turn on the bright lights but down below here you know these are the, uh, the eggplants that did germinate so we got eight total out of the uh, 18 that germinated and so I'm gonna do something a little different with this next batch I'm gonna actually put those inside of one of my bubble top tent you know a little bubble uh, greenhouse enclosures to help them germinate a little better to keep the you know humidity a little higher and the moisture in there I mean it was plenty plenty moist it wasn't that I just don't know if it was actually warm enough so this should help the germination rate and we'll see how much this improves versus having it just covered with that piece of plastic that I had and I only put that on a week after I started the germination so it may have already at that point the seeds might have already broke down a little bit and they were never going to be viable but uh, you can see move back over here and uh, you know we've got some more Michael FP or Mike Michael F ones, and then we've got some more snowy, some black beauties, and I believe the back ones there are two. We got two diamond, you know, eggplants. So if all these come through, that'll make it. Uh, you know, we'll have a total of 18 that'll be out there in our garden for this year. And then we've got the pepper plants deck here. They started showing a little bit of sign of uh, a little calcium deficiency or magnesium, magnesium, magnesium. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> deficiency. So uh, I gave them a nice little dose of that, and I gave them a foliar feeding of it with some of the uh, molasses mixed in. And uh, that should take care of the issue, so hopefully they'll bounce back. This one over here seems a little better shape than the, uh, the one over here. It was a little bit further along, and it was stuck in the back, and I wasn't really paying attention to those guys because I was worried about other things. And we got our tomato plant over here, the pop-up. It's you know really tall now, and i got to get a cage on that this week because... It's already up to the top of the bench, and that's going to start topping over three feet, you know, by this weekend. And, you know, I hope the wind doesn't blow it over or snap anything off, so I'll probably put a cage in here. You'll see that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights on the upper. That way you'll be able to see. And you can see the red Russian kale. We actually harvested, Paula, well, I came down, you know, last night, Saturday night, and harvested, you know, a bunch of this red Russian kale. So we've got some, you know, it's been thinned out. And it's, you know, it's been really hardy. And then one of the things I do with my kale after I harvest, I come through here and I just kind of brush it like this to make it, you know, hopefully stimulate the growth a little bit and kind of, you know, break up the pattern of where the leaves are laying. So it gets down inside here and kind of shines some light on some of these, you know, sicklier ones that, you know, I'll come through and I'll just kind of grab these. And they just pull right out. Get those out of there. That way we've got only the healthiest ones actually, you know, coming and getting big. But you'll find, you know, dead ones in here you have to clean through every now and then. And then back here, you can see the, uh, the basil actually started to stand up. And, you know, it's bouncing back a little bit. You know, this front one here, it doesn't look like it's coming back too well. That was that short little stubby one. We still got some in here. They're starting to, you know, the front ones here are okay, but there's been a, you know, after it's tried to slide it out of the tray and it fell over onto itself, it's kind of hard to bring basil back once it bends over on its stalk. But, uh, you know, we've got the, the lemon basil and the Thai basil back there. And then we've got the, the purple opal basil and this short little one here. And then I, there's some basil seeds that I spread in here for that uh, large leaf basil, the Italian. And you can see they're starting to pop up. And then underneath here, this is spinach that I'm going to try and germinate. And I've got a piece of plastic over the top here to increase the humidity. And there's nothing really coming up yet because I just put this in last night on Saturday and today's Sunday and I'm trying something to do with this this plastic just to see if I keep it a little hotter and humidity in there if I get a better germination rate because what I'm doing is I'm putting these on two inches so every two inches I've got a seed put in and I want to see what kind of germination rate I get because that's what you thin them out to once they get to a full-size plant you thin them down to that size and so I put them on two inch square throughout through the, the tray here and we'll see how you know what kind of germination I get because I want to take these, and these are going to be the outside ones that I take outside once they actually, you know, germinate and they start to get, you know, a couple inches high. I'm probably going to take these outside because it'll be about that time we want to start putting these outdoors in some of our other garden boxes because the cooler weather. 
And then over here, we've got the Bates Kale. You can see it's coming up nicely. So this is going to be the corollary to this Bates Kale over here, which we harvested on Saturday. I came down, thinned it out. We got a big salad out of that. And then this is going to be the companion, so that way we'll have two of these trays to actually be getting our kale harvest from. So that's going to be a really nice addition to our salads. And then, of course, we got the poinsettia. I think I gave it a little too much water this last week, because so I got some yellowing leaves here. So I'm going to probably have to, you know, let it bounce back on its own, cut its water back, because, you know, they don't like to have too much water. But I was down here talking to Paula, and I was watering at the same time, and didn't realize I'd flooded the whole basin there with water. But uh, that's okay. It'll bounce back. It's a trooper. All right. Well, that's the large grow tent update. This has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. I hope you guys have a great week. All right, talk to you again. Bye.